why am I so nervous? I feel like I haven't filmed a video in ages and I'm like, I don't know what to do. It's almost 2019, which is crazy. And I really wanted to do an end of the year song or album or music video. I really wanted to do something to do with music, like an end of the year list. And I decided to go with albums since it's like, because I really like albums and I felt like it was the easiest to do because if I were to pick singles, there is too many, or music videos, just too many good ones, so. <sighs> Why did I just pick up my ear? Um, I dyed my hair blonde and it looks kind of disgusting because I'm gonna dye it peach, but in order to go peach, I needed to. This first, I'm really gonna do it like how Georgia from Broods has it. I'm gonna insert a picture. But yeah, she's my idol. So I have my top 10 favorite albums of the year and we're just gonna start with honorable mentions because even with albums there were too many that couldn't fit into the list. First honorable mention is Shawn Mendes by Shawn Mendes. You can't take my guilt away, the soul of my will never break. I've been a Shawn Mendes fan since 2014 and I was really excited for this album but at the same time, I knew I wasn't as into his music as I was in 2015 and 2016. I heard In My Blood and it was great and I was excited for the album. But once I heard all the other songs, I wasn't as excited because for some reason, I just didn't enjoy this album. It's not that it's a bad album. I recognize that it's a really good and well-produced album. But for me... It just wasn't what I wanted from Sean, so it's a shame. Speak Your Mind by Anna Marie. And it went like this, say, oops, I got na 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 problem singing ba 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 hold up. It is an album that I really, really, really wanted to include in this list, but for some reason, every time I added new albums to the list, every time this album just kept dropping, and by the time I had my top 10 list, it was number 13 or something, I was like, oh gosh, what have I done? So, yeah. I enjoy this album. I feel like it's just a little bit too much of a basic pop album to be on the actual list. And the last album on this honorable mentions list is Dua Lipa's Dua Lipa Complete Edition album. Just wanna kiss and make her one last time. Touch me like you touch nobody. Put your hands all up on me. It didn't deserve to be on the list because it's basically a re-release of the album that she released last year with just a couple of extra songs and songs that she's been featured on and I love this song, I love the new songs, I love the featured songs and I love the old songs but just because it was a re-release I didn't think it would take a spot from the complete new album that I loved this year. And now moving on to the actual list which I'm really excited to share this with you. I feel like I have such good taste in music. I don't know. I feel like that's everyone who listens to a lot of music. They're like, oh my gosh, I have the best taste in music, but I take such pride in the music that I listen to. Number 10 is Infections of a Different Kind, number one, by, I don't know how you say number one, but by Aurora. The underdogs are my lions, the silent ones are my choir, the women will be my soldiers. I love this artist and her voice is just like the most soothing thing. If you are ever, ever feeling anxious, listen to her song. They'll make you feel so peaceful and so warm inside and like it's just it's such a good feeling listening to her songs. Number oh my gosh. Number nine is Panic at the Disco's Pray for the Wicked album. Such good music. I just love listening to it. I get such good feeling. It is like, this is the kind of album that I don't often listen to because I'm a sucker for sad music. Like, I just love sad music. But this album is, is a really good album and I had to include it. Number eight is Aurora by B. Miller. You get, you get. The release of this album was very interesting for me because it was released in chapters of songs. Um, she released three songs at a time 
and by the time the album came out, I had heard like 90% of the songs and I thought, why am I going to listen to this album? There's no point. I've already heard all the songs. But because the last chapter that she released, it was chapter three, Yellow. I fell in love with that chapter. All the songs from that are my favorite songs from this album. So I was so excited for the album. I was like, I can't wait to listen to it. Even though I had heard almost all the songs, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. And it's, again, because the chapters were sort of all different and like chapter blue was a lot more sad than chapter yellow, which was more happy lyrics and like acceptance and stuff like that. So the album kind of has everything in it, which I can really respect because not oftentimes an album has such variety of songs unless we're talking about like 21 pilots or something. Number seven is expectations. Funny enough, I had such, like, I had such high expectations for this album and I feel like it didn't exactly meet those expectations, but don't get me wrong, it is a good album. Hailey Kyoko is a dancer and I'm a dancer, so for me, I feel like she is really able to create good music for dancing because I know for live shows and stuff, she'll be dancing. For music videos, she'll be dancing. So even if she's not trying to create a good song for dancing, I feel like she'll automatically use beats that would be good for dancing just because her mind works like that. Number six is The Pains of Growing by Alessia Cara. And I love Alessia. I love everything she stands for. I just, I adore this girl. She's so cute and adorable and her songs are amazing. Well, you don't know what sadness means Till you're too sad to fall asleep One day I'll be snoozing peacefully I just a couple of days ago listened to this album fully for the first time from start to finish, looked up the lyrics, really, really got into the music and I was positively surprised because I, for some reason, I don't know why I didn't end up, why I didn't expect myself to like this album as much as I do, but I'm so happy I do because it's, I love Alessia and it's always great when you like um, music and artwork from the people that you really like, if that makes any sense. Like there are so many artists that I like, like to 1975, I love them, but at the same time I can't really get into their music and it's not my fault that I just don't enjoy their music as much as I would maybe like to. Number five is Forever Neverland by Mo with the weird um, Norwegian O, not a Swedish O. That's a different letter. Actually, I got into because of my dance teacher. She was literally obsessed with this album. She would play it in our classes during warm-up, during stretching. We were even doing choreographies to song from this album. So I had to listen to it on my own and I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad that my dance teacher was obsessed with I'm so glad that my dance teacher was obsessed with this album because now I am too and it's such a good album. Number four is Underworld by Tonight Alive. Big dreams and nobody wants them. Hayless, walking. What does it feel like home when I got into their music because of Lynn from Paris because they were doing a collaboration song with Lynn and I was really excited for this album because Par Paris, if you don't know, is my favorite band and I love them to death and I love Lynn's voice and I was just so excited for the um, single drop and I ended up loving the single and I ended up looking up like so many of Tonight Alive songs and then when this album dropped I felt like it was the perfect timing for me personally because I was feeling very low and this album dealt with a lot of things that I was going through. I'm really happy that I discovered this whole new band through another band. I feel like discovering new music is just the best. Still filming. Then we're getting to the top three. <laughs> As I showed to um the top. Do you show three like this or do you show this? Because this finger, look at this. It's so not stretchy. You'd think my fingers would be stretchy. Because like I can do more stuff with my legs than my fingers. But top three. So... This was probably the hardest to choose the order between all of these albums because I love every single one of them. 
and I've listened to all of them so many times. But number three is Bloom by Troye Sivan. Spark up, buzz cut, I've got my tongue between your teeth. Go slow, no, no, go fast. So, Troye Sivan is my all-time favorite artist and I've been a fan since 2014 and I love him and the reason why this is number three and not higher up on the list even though number three is super high on the list is because it's it's weird to say but it's too happy for me like this list is full of albums that are happy but from Troy I don't know I just wanted more sad songs and a lot of the songs are about love something I know fucking nothing about <laughs> like I've not been in a relationship so I just I've never liked love songs unless it's like a really weird perspective on love or it's not really necessarily about a love or it's about the sadness that you face after a heartbreak I can just think of that as like something else or leaving a friend or whatever number two is <laughs> Trench by 21 Pilots. I'm heavy, my jumpsuit is unsteady. I'm lighter when I'm lower. I'm higher when I'm heavy. Oh, I'm so high. Sorry to disappoint any of you watching that are like huge 21 Pilot fans. And because I thought Trench was going to be number one as well. But I'm going to explain why it's number two. Um, after I say what is number one. The Trench is a concept album and so is the first... Oh, this Should I just say what the first album is and then explain why Trench is number two? I don't know what to do. I love the whole concept of tr the Trench world and, and anything Tony and Pipes really puts out there is this like like deeper meaning or you can dig it out if you want to or if you don't want to you can just listen to songs because the songs are great. But during the first listen, I gravitated towards the slower, sadder songs like Leave the City, Neon Gravestones and Bantito are probably my favorites from this album. Although Morph has really grown on me and it's probably my number one favorite right now. <sighs> so number one, the moment you've all been waiting for. Um, the number one song on my list is... Palo Santo by Years and Years and I'm so proud to say that because I love this album with my whole heart. If you don't agree, if you've never heard of Years and Years, if you don't like this album, whatever, it's my opinion. so addictive I just remember listening to it the first time and I couldn't not I couldn't stop listening to it I was listening to it over and over and over and over again the visuals that Ollie has put out and the storyline that goes into Palo Cento and the people that live there as well as Trench and the whole world of Trench they're both great concepts and I can't compare those two because I feel like they're very well done but the number one reason and the only reason why Palo Cento is above Trench on this list is because there's not a single song on Palo Cento that I don't like. There's not a single song that I would skip when listening to this album. But on the other hand, on Trench, there are a couple of songs that I'm not a fan of. I would maybe sometimes listen to it. But if I had the choice or like if I were on my phone listening to it, I would just skip the song. Just to even say that I don't like some of their songs, it feels really bad and I feel like this is the first album that there has been songs, all the other songs are songs I love, love, love and then these two songs I just don't like, almost at all, like I just don't like these songs and oh, should I should have say the songs. If I were to recommend you albums to listen to, I'd have to say please listen to Palo Santo by Years and Years or watch the visuals, watch the music, no, the like what is it called like the movie thing that they put up on youtube or some of the music videos or please 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 listen to um forever neverland by mo because that was the album that i was most surprised with at how much i loved it 
Also, Underworld by Tonight Alive, one of my faves of like a new discovery this year. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can talk down in the comments what were your favorite songs or albums or artists that you listened to this year or just really whatever you want to. But please don't be mean towards me. I hope you guys have had a great Christmas and I wish you all a very good 2019. I hope it will be a good year. I'll see you guys whenever I make my next video. Bye!